former UFC veteran, now a nutritionist guru and the champion here for UFC Fit here at Herald Square, Mike Dolce. What was going on on the stage behind us earlier today? Well, today was the first time ever we were actually demoing the UFC Fit program here to New York City, which was an amazing, amazing turnout. We showed 15 signature UFC Fit moves. We had people constantly jumping on stage with us, working out. So it's a great event. We're here in Herald Square also for a reason. Uh, the Ultimate Fighting Championship, Zufar, trying to get the sport sanctioned here uh, in the state of New York, one of the few states that are left. What kind of what, what will this do to help them convince the politicians here that, hey, you know what, New York needs mixed martial arts? I'm an East Coast guy. I'm from New Jersey. So here in New York, this is a fight city. I mean, Madison Square Garden. Why UFC or is not in Madison Square Garden yet? It's a po political issue. And hopefully the politics, the businessmen see. I mean, the, the turnout here is, is immense. The people in the streets didn't even know we were going to be here. And they're packing the house. Could you imagine what happens when the UFC can pack Madison Square Garden with John Jones versus Chael Sonnen? And that's where this fight should be right now. Unfortunately, the city of New York, the people in New York are missing out on all that revenue and the excitement of being part of history. So hopefully, I think it's really close. And come on, guys, let's get this done. You're from Jersey. You mentioned John Jones. You mentioned Chael Sonnen, and your boy competing versus John Jones for the light heavyweight championship of the world. How's he doing? How's his diet? Obviously, how's his weight right now? And what can we expect on Saturday night? Chael looks amazing. Chael is the bigger guy, though he's moving up from middleweight, 185, to 205 to challenge John Jones for the world title. Chael's going to be the bigger, stronger, faster, better conditioned athlete because he's ready to roll. I mean, I've known Chael since 2004. We've been working together. This is going to be Chael's pinnacle. This is going to be the peak of his career, beating John Jones on Saturday in the, the, the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Unfortunately, I love New Jersey, but come on, New York. Back on that issue again. Chael's going to walk away with the world title. Not sure if you received permission from Brandy, your beautiful wife, uh, but will there be a sequel to the incredible book that you wrote? Absolutely. Uh, we're, we got more books coming out. We got the Three Weeks of Shredded Revise. We have another book for the older generation, the 45 to 65 year old world, our parents' generation, coming out soon. And uh, we're just going to keep telling people how to get in shape, how to be healthy. Also, of course, at UFC Fit. I mean, this is available now, UFCFit.com. Check that out. As much information as I can put out there for free to make available for everybody to change their life. That's what I do. Thankfully, I'm not near the 45-year-olds yet, but I'm sure it's around the corner. Mike, thank you for your time. Absolutely. Thank you, as always.